Dear students, welcome to the second part of the second lecture, which is entitled Dark Romanticism and the Textual Analysis of the Short Story of Marilla by Edgar Allan Poe. Uh, the setting of the story is gothic in the sense that the story took place in the 18th or 19th century Europe at the residence of the narrator uh, who uh, looks like uh, he belongs uh, to a, an aristocratic family uh, because um, uh, uh, they have an ancestral burial vault and for the location also uh, 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 we we learned that uh, Morilla studied in Prashburg University City uh, which is associated with witchcraft and the occult or what we call uh, ma uh, it is related to magical powers and activities such as uh, those of witchcraft and uh, astrology in order to uh, uh, discover uh, the secrets of life and the existence. Uh, what is important uh, to know here is uh, Prashburg is a city which used to be the capital of uh, Hungary and now became the capital of Slovakia and even the name has changed today and uh, it became uh, Bratislava. So again here uh, we can see that in the setting of the story we see these um, notions of uh, magic, mystery, the burial of the dead, and uh, the vault, and uh, so on and so forth. We can locate uh, four characters uh, in the short story of Morella. The first character is the unnamed narrator who is depicted as unreliable first-person narrator because he shows signs of mental instability and that's why we shouldn't trust the credibility of his story. The second character is Morella, the wife of the narrator uh, who is depicted as a woman of intellect and uh, genius. The third character is uh, the daughter uh, that was uh, born after, uh, by, uh, at the time of the death uh, or at the moment of uh, uh, the death of uh, her mother, Morella. And she resembles her mother both physically and mentally. And the last character is uh, the clergyman, the person who baptized the, the daughter of the narrator and Morella. We can summarize the plot of Morella into four phases. The first phase is characterized by the narrator's attraction to Morella's intellect and erudition and for this reason he decided to marry her. Uh, Morella is depicted as a woman of uh, genius and intellect and she is, uh, she is uh, depicted as uh, a bookworm. Her interest uh, in uh, uh, mystical knowledge uh, about questions of life and death has led her to delve into what uh, Poe called the ashes of dead philosophy, reading uh, uh, the works of great German philosophers uh, such as Johann Fichte and uh, Friedrich Schelling. The second phase uh, uh, marked the transformation of uh, uh, the psychological as well as the physical state of Morella as uh, she kept reading uh, about mystical knowledge. 
and uh, her obsession with reading about the mystical knowledge as i have said has soon influenced her psyche and body as it created the seeds of terror in the narrator who gradually wishes uh, for her death and uh, his uh, love has uh, diminished the third phase uh, uh, marks uh, the omen of morella as her state of morbidity accelerated one evening she called the narrator and told him in a prophetic tone i'm dying yet i shall live she also informed him about the upcoming child and the fact that he will live in a state of sorrow and suffering the fourth and the last phase um, actually depicted the state of sorrow and the, the tragic ending as days passed the daughter of the the narrator grow to resemble her mother uh, both physically and intellectually she has even been baptized with the name of her mother when uh, the narrator uh, said the name morella she responded uh, in a magical way i am here as if uh, the mother uh, voiced her presence uh, through the voice of her daughter uh, and the daughter surprisingly fell down and died uh, after that the narrator went to, to bury uh, her body in the vault with her mother but uh, uh, to his surprise he hasn't found the body of morella and this uh, in a way uh, communicates uh, uh, a very central theme here which uh, uh, I like uh, to discuss it after but uh, the end of the short story is characterized by the obsession of the narrator with the soul and the name of Morella and I would like to conclude uh, my plot uh, with uh, his words I kept no reckoning of time or place and the stars of my fate faded from heaven and therefore the earth grew dark and its figures passed by me like flitting shadows and among them all i beheld only morella the winds of the firmament breathed but one sound within my ears and the ripples upon the sea murmured evermore morella When it comes to themes uh, uh, discussed in the short story, well, the first one is uh, the fate of individual identity after death. Well, among the subjects that Morella tackles is whether uh, personal or individual identity will survive death or uh, it will become a part of a universal identity. Uh, this question captivates uh, the narrator's uh, concern and uh, he even expresses uh, his state of fear because this question uh, frightens uh, him and he said the notion that of that identity which at death is or is not lost forever was to me at all times a consideration of intense interest well to answer this question we have uh, to pay attention to different signs or hints that uh, uh, Poe uh, put in the short story. The first one is the epigraph, uh, which is taken from the work of Plato, Symposium, and which introduces uh, the idea of a single universal identity. And I'm going to read the translation in English, not in Greek. The short story begins with this uh, quote from Plato itself alone by itself eternally one and single and this hints uh, 
at what we call universal identity. Uh, the second hint is the content of uh, mystical knowledge that Morella uh, is reading about and which uh, is taken from uh, the great German philosophers Johann Fichte and Friedrich Schilling who uh, focused on uh, how the ego perceives reality. Well, uh, both uh, the German philosophers uh, uh, reached uh, to different forms of uh, what we call uh, pantheism or that uh, concept which means uh, God and the universe are uh, one complex entity and uh, uh, each one is a part of the other and even humanity uh, is a part of this uh, uh, complex entity. So this is the second hint. For the third hint uh, is um, uh, the great uh, Greek philosopher and mathematician Pythagoras uh, uh, is uh, one of uh, the great uh, uh, theorists that Morella was reading about and uh, uh, we have learned that uh, Pythagoras um, believed or developed uh, uh, the concept of what we call uh, metampsychosis, which means uh, the transmigration of souls. Uh, that means uh, souls never die, but uh, they reincarnated in uh, different bodies. And that's how uh, we learn from this that, uh, or, or this is the third hint that would tell us that, uh, or indicate that the soul of Morella uh, lived after her death in the body of her daughter and after that it became uh, as a part of the universe and that's why um, the narrator uh, expresses uh, this uh, this idea in the following uh, or in the final passage like this i kept no reckoning of time or place and the stars of my fate faded from heaven and therefore the earth grew dark and its figures passed by me like uh, flitting shadows, and among them all I beheld only Morella. So here we can uh, see how uh, the soul of Morella reincarnated uh, to be a part of the winds and the sea and the mountains and all the universe. And this is uh, uh, a form of pantheism that we can see. Uh, that Poe is developing in this short story. Uh, the second theme is uh, horror, which is a cent very central uh, in the short story. It is uh, introduced uh, via the setting of the short story and even the readings or the mystical readings of Morella and its impact uh, on the psychological state of the narrator. And uh, we can pick uh, a quote in which uh, we can see this uh, or which expresses this state of uh, horror in the short story. The narrator uh, expresses uh, uh, the impact of Morella's reading on his uh, psyche as follows. And then, hour after hour, would I linger by her side and dwell upon the music of her voice, until at length its melody was tainted with terror, and there fell a shadow upon my soul, and I grow pale and shuddered inwardly at those two and earthly tones and thus joy suddenly faded into horror. Uh, the third theme uh, tackles uh, uh, the main relationship between Morella and the narrator and it summarizes how uh, uh, this relationship uh, ended uh, tragically. Well, uh, it is uh, about uh, revenge of Morella and the narrator's uh, health and suffering on earth. 
uh, as the narrator uh, failed to grasp uh, the meaning of the mystical text that Morella uh, provides, uh, uh, so he accepted his fate and uh, accepted to be instructed by Morella uh, about this uh, mystical philosophy. But with time, he finds uh, the readings of Morella horrifying a bit. And Poe expressed uh, this uh, um, state of fear and anxiety in metaphorical language by saying, the most beautiful became the most hideous. As Hinon became Gihina. Well, uh, Hinon or Hinom is uh, a valley that is located in uh, eastern uh, Jerusalem and we need here uh, a historical account of Jerusalem uh, as uh, uh, pagan believers in the past uh, used to sacrifice uh, their children in this valley to a pagan god that is called Moloch and uh, believers or monotheist believers uh, uh, didn't like this and uh, uh, they called uh, this valley the valley of hell and suffering by transforming it in Hebrew from uh, Hinnom or Hina to Gihinom or Gihina which means uh, a valley of uh, fire and suffering and which means uh, hell and uh, with this background uh, we can understand uh, what uh, the narrator has meant by saying the most beautiful became the most hideous as uh, Hinnon became Gehenna which means here uh, the narrator is describing his uh, psychological state or his transformation from feeling good and great with his wife uh, uh, to become um, a kind of uh, uh, living in a, a state of suffering and hell as that beautiful valley became uh, a location of uh, hell and suffering and uh, pain. And also it means the narrator in a way he looks like a child who was sacrificed to Moloch and in this way uh, uh, by being submissive to Morella, in a way the narrator became or he was sacrificed uh, to uh, the will of uh, Morella here. Yeah. The main aspects of Romanticism in Morella are deeply related to Dark Romanticism since the short story, as you know, is uh, about uh, exemplifying uh, the Gothic horror genre. The short story deals with the grotesque, uh, the supernatural and the horrifying and we can see these concepts in the characterization of uh, Morella. Another thing uh, is uh, we can see uh, how the short story developed uh, uh, the concepts of love, death and loss, free thought and mysticism or transcendentalism in different ways. By introducing the concept of pantheism and the uh, transmigration of the soul, uh, Poe provided his version of transcendentalism uh, which is about uh, the union uh, with the universe and God and the immortality of the soul. But in a way, uh, it is quite different from uh, New England transcendentalism because um, it defies uh, the rational and the intellectual and uh, it uh, represents the intuitive and the emotional, but at the same time, 
uh, it echoes uh, uh, the terror of the soul uh, 